Hello, 12 Houston. Uh, give us Omni Delta, please. Houston Apollo 12. Go ahead, 12. Roger, you can see quite well in the earth shine up here. The uh, lamp is illuminated very brightly because it's fairly reflective, but the moon itself is uh, fairly easy to see in the uh, earth shine. It's quite beautiful. It feels soft and sort of uh, gives it a greenish tinge, gray green. Roger, I understand. And uh, you say that the limb uh, is illuminated by earth shine? itself and so it looks almost like a soft uh, sunlight for such a thing but you could for example look out and read the uh, marks on the commander's overhead window you can see all the quads the struts and they're pretty up here in her shine it kind of gives it sort of a a great green cast though I just understand This is Apollo Control at 87 hours, 9 minutes. We're now 8 minutes away from loss of signal. Uh, here in Mission Control, presently changing shifts. Flight Director Pete Frank will be replacing Flight Director Glenn Lunny. The capsule communicator on this shift uh, will continue to be astronaut Paul Weitz for the first part of the shift. Uh, Don Lind taking over at about 4.30 this morning. The lunar orbit insertion number two maneuver is scheduled to occur 39 minutes from now. Uh, that burn is targeted for an orbit of 54 by 66 nautical miles. Time of ignition is tentatively set at 87 hours, 48 minutes, 47 seconds. Uh, with a burn time of 17.07 seconds and a uh, total delta V of 165.5 feet per second. As we near the end of this uh, front side pass, all systems on the CSM continuing to look very good. Uh, Flight Director Glenn Money will be getting a final status from his flight controllers prior to loss of signal and we expect uh, passing along a go for the lunar orbit insertion number two maneuver at uh, 87 hours 11 minutes this is Apollo Control Houston Twelve Houston five minutes to LOS Uh, we just called up P-40 for you to take a look at it before we disappear. Roger, 12. Hello, Apollo 12, Houston, your go for LOI-2 and your pippas look real good. Roger, Houston, go for LOI-2. Yeah, it's been a long night here, too. Well, what that I had the water gun half in and half out, and I was trying to talk and drink at the same time. Uh, actually, we're, uh, I, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Deck and Al and I have uh, really switched over to this time schedule, and we're quite happy on it. We, uh, we're we not really aware of the fact that it's the middle of the night back there. Roger. a signal on the second revolution. We're now 31 minutes 21 seconds away from ignition for LOI-2. Scheduled to reacquire the spacecraft in about 45 minutes. And as you heard, 
uh, toward the end of that pass. Uh, we gave the crew a go for LOI-2. All systems on the spacecraft continuing to look absolutely nominal. Uh, we have completed the uh, change of shift at uh, this time. Uh, Flight Director Pete Frank now uh, taking over from Flight Director Glenn Lunny. At 87 hours 18 minutes, this is Apollo Control Houston. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we're now at uh, 87 hours uh, 44 minutes into the flight. Uh, we're less than five minutes away from our scheduled time of ignition for lunar orbit insertion uh, burn number two. This burn designed to uh, lower our apolloon and uh, bring us to an orbit of 66 nautical miles by 54 nautical miles. The burn is scheduled for some 16 or 17 seconds in duration. We're presently passing uh, around the far side of the moon. Uh, we uh, are scheduled uh, to reacquire the spacecraft in 16 minutes. This is Apollo Control Houston. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we should be uh, burning LOI-2 at this time. We're at 87 hours, uh, 49 minutes into the flight. Uh, we will not reacquire until 11 minutes uh, from f uh, 45 seconds from my mark. This is Apollo Control Houston. This is Apollo Control Houston. We're about uh, 30 seconds away from uh, time of reacquisition of the uh, Apollo 12 spacecraft. We'll leave the line open at this time. Uh, Apollo 12 is now on its third revolution around the moon. Apollo Control Houston, uh, we have data at this time. Hello, Apollo 12, Houston. Hello, Houston Apollo 12, LOI 2 burn complete. The burn was on time. The burn time was 17 seconds. The residuals were plus 0 0.30 plus 0.1. Delta VC was minus 4.4. Fuel 35 decimal 4. Oxidizer 35 decimal 9. Increase 100. We're in a 66.3 by 54.7, according to us. Over to you. Roger, 12. We copy. And we have bat B on the uh, charger at this time. Roger. You heard that report from uh, Pete Conrad aboard the spacecraft. 66.354.7. Al is photographing off the uh, target of opportunity chart here uh, in order, and we're trying to get as much of that stuff done as we can. Roger, 12. LOI-2 has been completed uh, almost exactly as advertised. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, mission Control Center numbers almost precisely uh, coincide with the onboard numbers. So we show 66.1 nautical miles by 54.3 nautical miles on the ground. We're at 88 hours, uh, five minutes into the flight at this time. Okay, Houston, uh, Apollo 12, we've gone to uh, left press on our uh, valve. Roger, 12. That was uh, Spacecraft Commander Pete uh, Conrad uh, reporting that they're pressurizing the limit this time. This 
This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we've had no uh, contact with Apollo 12 for the past several minutes. However, uh, Flight Director uh, Pete uh, Frank has gone around the room uh, consulting with uh, his flight control personnel, and all data appears quite nominal at this time as uh, Apollo 12 progresses on its uh, third revolution around the moon. 12, Houston, if you'll give us poo and accept, we'll give you a clock update. Okay, poo and accept it is. And 12, Houston, I have a map update pad and a landmark tracking pad when you're ready. Okay, uh, we're ready to copy. Okay, a map update for Rev 4. 8-9-er, 1-3, 0 9 8 9 3 7 5 9 8 9 5 9 one 8 over. Roger, map update, 8 9 one 3 0 9 8 9 3 7 5 9 8 9 5 9 one 8 that's a firm. You ready for your landmark tracking pad? Right here. This is for H1. All right, that's affirmative. H1. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and the computer's yours and the H1 pad. T1 is 903541. T2, Niner zero, four zero, five zero. The offset is 12 miles north. Over. Roger, 12 miles north. Uh, okay, nine zero three five four one, nine zero four zero five zero, and uh, 12 north. That's affirmative. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we presently show uh, Apollo 12 at an altitude of 63.8 nautical miles. It's a velocity now reading uh, uh, 5,326 uh, feet per second. Houston, uh, we presently show Apollo 12 at uh, an altitude of 58.6 nautical miles above the moon. Apollo 12 will be coming into lunar night uh, shortly. At uh, that time, the 12 crew will routinely realign their uh, computer platform. We're at uh, 88 hours, uh, 45 minutes into the flight. Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we're monitoring the uh, display in Mission Control, which shows the onboard data. The uh, crew is presently uh, realigning their platform. We've got uh, some 20 minutes uh, remaining on this uh, pass where we'll have Apollo 12 under acquisition. We're at 88 hours, uh, 53 minutes into the flight, and this is Apollo Control. Uh, Dick Gordon uh, talking to Paul Weitz here in Mission Control Center. 
We're at uh, 88 hours, uh, 55 minutes into the flight at this time. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we're presently at 89 hours into the flight. Apollo 12 uh, is nearing its uh, paraloon, its present altitude, uh, 55 nautical miles above uh, the moon. We have uh, 13 minutes until we lose signal when Apollo 12 passes over the backside of the moon. And this is Apollo Control, Houston. It's Apollo Control, Houston. Uh, we're less than uh, 10 minutes away now from time of loss of signal. As Apollo 12 passes uh, around the backside of the moon, uh, Commander uh, Pete Conrad and Albine are scheduled to transfer into the lunar module. Flight Director uh, Pete Frank in Mission Control uh, just called his flight controllers and said if we have any words of wisdom for the crew before they transfer, let's uh, please pass them up in the next few minutes. He's received no response uh, from any member of his team at this time. We're at 89 hours, uh, four minutes into the flight. Oh, Houston 12. Go 12. Roger, the tunnel's clear and we're going in 11. Roger, 12. That was a call from uh, Pete Conrad to Paul Weitz, uh, indicating that the tunnel is clear and they're ready to proceed into the lunar module. 12 Houston, five minutes to LOS. 12 Roger. That was Paul Weitz uh, telling Apollo 12, we've got uh, five minutes till time of loss of signal as Apollo 12 passes uh, over the back side of the moon. It's Apollo Control uh, Houston. Uh, we're two minutes away now from loss of signal. One minute away now from uh, scheduled time of loss of signal. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, network has uh, just identified to uh, Flight Director Pete Frank that we've had loss of signal. On this uh, front side pass, uh, very little conversation uh, between Apollo 12 and uh, the Houston Control Center. In fact, uh, very little conversation on the Flight Director's loop as uh, the mission has uh, proceeded uh, completely as programmed. At 89 hours, uh, 14 minutes, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston. Apollo Control, Houston, uh, we're two minutes away now from reacquiring Apollo 12. Apollo 12 now on its uh, fourth revolution around the moon. As we uh, reacquire uh, spacecraft commander uh, Pete Conrad and uh, lunar module pilot uh, Alan Bean uh, should be in the lunar module. Meanwhile, in Mission Control Center, we've had a change of shift uh, among the uh, capsule communicators. Uh, Don Lind has uh, replaced Paul Weitz in that key position. We're at uh, 89 hours, uh, 58 minutes into the flight, and presently standing by for reacquisition. This is Apollo Control, Houston. Apollo Control, Houston, uh, we should be reacquiring momentarily. We uh, presently show an orbit uh, for Apollo 12 of uh, 66 by uh, nautical miles by 54.4 nautical miles. Apollo 12, 
Houston. That's Don Lind uh, calling Apollo 12. Apollo 12, Houston. Hello, Apollo 12, go. Very good, nice to hear your voice. I have your answer from before, you must not have picked it up. Sorry about that. That's okay, uh, Pete and Al are in the lamp, or Pete's in half and half, and they're down through their checklist stuff, and I'm standing by right here at the P-22. Very good. In fact, in fact, uh, I want to go ahead and uh, start the roll, Don. You'll probably lose me on a high gain. I'll give you Omni D when I break lock. Roger. And, uh, Houston 12, we just finished checking out our OPSs and they checked out 4 0, both of them. Uh, Roger, copy 4 0, both of them. That was Dick Gordon first responding. Uh, more recently, you heard from uh, Pete Conrad uh, reporting on their uh, OPS system aboard the lunar module. Both Conrad and Bean uh, presently in the limb. This is Apollo Control Houston. We're at 90 hours, 4 minutes now of the flight. Uh, we presently show uh, Apollo 12 at an altitude of 65.6 .6 nautical miles uh, above the moon. That was uh, Lunar Module Pilot Al Bean uh, using the code name Intrepid, uh, identifying that uh, their Lunar Module ship is in fact ship shape at this time. Many hours, uh, seven minutes into the flight, uh, and Apollo 12 uh, presently uh, at an altitude of 65.8 nautical miles at its uh, point of Apollon. This is Apollo Control Houston. This is Apollo Control Houston at 90 hours, uh, 10 minutes now into the flight. Uh, we don't uh, expect to hear a great deal from Apollo 12 until uh, 90 hours and 30 minutes, uh, at which time uh, spacecraft commander uh, Pete Conrad and Al Bean, both inside uh, Intrepid, will check out the communication systems of the lunar module. This is Apollo Control Houston uh, standing by.
Uh, Pete Conrad aboard Intrepid uh, talking to Dick Gordon uh, who is uh, singularly manning the uh, Yankee Clipper at this time. We're at uh, 19 hours 17 minutes. Bit rate with dial band. How do you 
you copy, over. Uh, read you very good uh, on this one. Uh, your background has dropped considerably. That's Al Bean and uh, Pete Conrad interchangeably coming on the line as uh, we're undergoing a voice communications check. Shepard, will you stand by on this mode so we can try a range acquisition? Affirmative. Rapid Houston, how do you read? Loud and clear, Houston. Very good, read you the same. That was Al Bean uh, reporting that they've com completed their communications check. Uh, they plan to depart in Trepid shortly and uh, return to the Yankee Clipper, moving uh, somewhat ahead of the uh, flight plan schedule. We're at uh, 90 hours uh, 23 minutes uh, now into the flight, and uh, this is Apollo Control Houston. Houston, would you confirm that you're in Omni Delta? Houston, Clipper, confirm. Intrepid, Houston. Uh, Roger, two items we'd like to get from you before you close that out, and that's the OPS source pressure and also the GET of activation uh, of limb power. Okay, I gave you the OPS there, 5,800 each. And let, me, and let me look at the book and find out what time we went on the uh, limb power. Just a second. Roger. We went on limb power at 90. Oh, eight, one, three. 90 plus 08 plus 13. Thank you. And Houston, uh, Trepid just went back on CSM power at 90, 29, 35. 90, 29, 35. Roger.
That's uh, Pete Conrad uh, aboard Intrepid uh, reporting the uh, ground elapsed times uh, for power on and power off uh, of the, the, the lunar module. Meanwhile, Yankee Clipper has uh, started its uh, computer program number 22 for orbital navigation. Uh, we're at uh, 90 hours, uh, 31 minutes into the flight and continuing to monitor. This is Apollo Control Houston. Intrepid Houston. Uh, we'd like you to confirm that you're going to pull the uh, circuit breaker on the floodlights so that the light will go out when you close the refrigerator door. The reference there by Don Lind uh, is a floodlight on the, the lunar module, which uh, did not uh, turn off at the time of uh, our first transfer under the limb by the two crew members. We're at 90 hours, uh, 33 minutes now into the flight. It's Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we presently show, show Apollo 12 at uh, an altitude of 61.4 nautical miles uh, above the moon. Its uh, present velocity, uh, 5,340 feet per second. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, the uh, ECOM and Mission Control, uh, looking at his data, has confirmed the floodlight uh, aboard the lunar module is, in fact, turned off. We're at uh, 90 hours, 40 minutes into the flight, and Apollo 12 presently at an altitude of 59.4 nautical miles above the moon. This is Apollo Control Houston. Houston, 90 hours, uh, 48 minutes, as you copied uh, that last call. minutes down to the flight, and this is Apollo Control Houston. Apollo 
I have used it. Uh, Dick, do you have any comments on the lighting conditions on H1? Oh, they were excellent. It was very easy to find a target, very easy to mark on. Uh, I thought the lighting conditions were outstanding for that. Very good. Okay, uh, Houston, why don't you give me the uh, map update and the TEI 11 pad. I'll copy them now, and by that time we'll be getting over to uh, the uh, sleep attitude here and give you the hike in a minute. Very good. The uh, map update for Rev 5 LOS is Niner 1 plus 1 1 plus 3 7. 180 position is Niner 1 plus 3 6 plus 2 1. AOS is Niner 1 plus 5 7 plus 4 5. TEI 1 1 pad SPS plus GNN. Noun 47 3 7 3 5 8. Noun 48 minus 0 6 5 plus 0 4 9 -er. GT 1 0 5 2 3 5 5 2 0 Noun 81 plus 3 1 9 -er, 2 1 plus 0 7 2 5 8 minus Zero one three nine -er, eight. Roll in A pitch one zero seven yaw in A. Ullage four jets for one one seconds and the burn is undocked. Okay, uh Houston. We have you on a high gain, and I'll go to uh, accept at this time. And the map update was 911137, 913621, 915745. The uh, TEI 11 pad, SPS GNN, 37358, minus 065, plus 094, plus. No, no, excuse me, it's just 105-235520 plus 31921 plus 07258-01398-NA-107-NA-4JET-11SECONDS-UNDOCKED. Uh, Roger, on noun 48, the Y trim was plus 049er. All the rest was correct. Okay, that's what I have on the pad. I don't know what I read back to you. I have 049er. And uh, how's the left current look to you at this time? Looks very good. Okay, we're in the process of buttoning the tunnel back up. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, the uh, TEI 11 pad is uh, a uh, contingency pad uh, that is stored in the onboard computer in the event uh, a development occurred uh, that uh, Apollo 12 needed to return on the 11th revolution. Would you try Omni Delta for us, please? Apollo Control Houston at uh, 90 hours uh, 56 minutes now into the flight. Uh, we will again lose signal with Apollo 12 in about uh, 15 minutes uh, from this time. We presently show Apollo 12 at an at uh, altitude of uh, 55.4 nautical miles. Its uh, velocity now reading uh, 5,371 feet per second. 90 hours at 57 minutes, uh, continuing to monitor. This is Apollo Control, Houston.
Apollo 12, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, we did not get uh, your state vector uh, completed before we lost you on the uh, pitch there, so we'll continue that now. Okay. Hello, here's the Apollo 12. Go. All right, here's on this step load for the rest out of there. Uh, do you want me to use AC for roll or BD? We should get a reading from GNC on that, please. The flight plan or disable AC? Roger, we want to use BD, Dick. Bravo, Delta. Okay. Thank you. I thought so. Apollo 12, Houston, we're uh, through sending up your state vector and we'd like to try to get an E-dump uh, before you go around the corner. Okay, uh, Verb 74, coming at you. Roger. And we have you out our window the first time since we've been in uh, lunar orbit. We've been too busy to get a look at you. Look pretty nice out there. Thank you. We're all smiling for you. We happy up here. That was uh, Pete Conrad saying that the Apollo 12 crew is happy up there. We're at uh, 91 hours, uh, three minutes into the flight, and some eight minutes away uh, from that time of loss of signal when Apollo 12 passes uh, above the backside of the moon. It's Apollo Control, Houston. Uh, we're about four and a half minutes away from uh, LOS at this time. Uh, Pete Frank is uh, talking to members of his uh, flight control team to see if we have anything to say to Apollo 12 uh, prior to loss of signal. We're at uh, 91 hours, uh, 7 minutes into the flight at this, this time. This is Apollo Control, Houston. So Apollo Control, Houston, uh, we're presently uh, 2 minutes away from... Uh, predicted time of loss of signal and standing by. Apollo 12, Houston, we're about uh, one minute from uh, LOS here. Uh, we'll see you uh, at 9157. 9157, uh, roger, roger. Roger, uh, so you can adjourn to the wardroom. He's already there. Very good. Pretty soon we're going to have boobies on the fan tail. Very good. We're 30 seconds away from predicted time of loss of signal. We'll see you coming around the other side. Roger, roger. Uh, we've had loss of signal at this time. In that uh, final exchange of conversation between Mission Control Center and uh, Apollo 12, that was uh, Pete Conrad speaking uh, for their all-Navy crew. During uh, this uh, frontside pass on the fourth revolution, uh, revolution uh, both uh, Pete Conrad and Al Bean uh, transferred uh, to the lunar module, uh, checked out the communication system. Uh, they're both uh, 
uh, back in the uh, command module at this time. Uh, this was their fourth trip, fourth trip uh, during this mission into the lunar module. Uh, the next time they transfer, it will be for undocking and the lunar landing portion of the mission. We're at uh, 91 hours, uh, 13 minutes at uh, present, and this is Apollo Control, Houston.